What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Sharice Mills. And Luce Cannon. How y'all doing? And you're here with Hip Hop Since 1987. Hip Hop Since 1987.com. Yes, I have the beautiful power couple here. How are you guys? We're doing great. We're doing good. How you doing? So, I'm good. I know you guys recently just dropped your reality TV show called Baddie and the Bad. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I know that the show premiered on Valentine's Day. So what did you guys do for Valentine's Day? Like what was special to celebrate? You know what was special? We dropped our own TV show. That was the most specialest thing ever. Because you know what? We gave you guys our love to the world. And that's very vulnerable, you know, because I that's also leading into my next point about your collaboration with Urban Flix TV. And I'm realizing that the show is being branded as an unscripted reality TV show, right? So y'all are really Definitely. getting it real, right? So how did y'all feel about going with that approach? Because, you know, I grew up on reality TV, but it's all pretty scripted. So mm -hmm. how did y'all come yeah, to most people, most people get that conception because they they don't realize most of it is scripted. Um, but when it got, when it came to our show, it, it was so real and uncut. We even have footage in there from before we met, you know, to to lead up to our story and how we actually came together. There were times we were at the same event and didn't even know each other. Like we should we should have met five ten years ago. Right. It's crazy. No, so it was just all about. I mean, but mm -hmm. there's nothing fake about our, our show. We just gave everybody our life. Yeah. The we good, the bad, the ugly. The sad, the happy, everything. Yeah. They I, got mean, I, I feel like we're really in a time now, like in a generation where vulnerability and like transparency is really like popular, like being regular, being real. Yeah. This is what's going on. Oh, you know? yeah. Okay. I think I, really, I people really, people they they complain about the type of show of showing the realness, but then you complain that you want that too. So it's like, which one do you want? We give it to you. Oh, this is showing us in the bad light. No, it's in the light that it is. This is what we go through. We got yeah. issues within business, with family, with friends. That's life. Each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's is. We wanted to give a different um, dynamic dynamic mm -hmm. going. You know how like they have reality TV shows, but then they all in just one house. Yeah, and, they wanted to, they and then you got fight. security mm -hmm. holding back stuff. No, you gonna get you gonna get you everything. Yeah, we right. ain't breaking them no. Ain't fights. no ain't no fake houses or anything like that. This is where we stay, where we lay our head. Even though we're about to buy a new house because we've had way too many people breaking in our in our, in our stuff. But, <laughs> I was gonna, no, look, we, what were you saying? No, go ahead. Oh, I was that was leading into like, so I was gonna say, right? I noticed that there might be a little bit of drama here and there because that's reality, you know, throughout the season. But just in general, how do you guys handle conflict or problems together as a unit? Like, what's your process? Um, we don't speak about it. So yeah. that's how we handle it. It's like um all the naysayers and sayers or whatever that speak and gossip and stuff like that. We just we, be minding we, our own business. Kind of, it don't bother us at all because mm. they're not making a break in us, you know. And that's the thing I think a lot of people feel like, oh, you know, getting all the feedback from some of the naysayers. Well, that how does that affect you guys? And we're looking, we're like, man, we sitting out eating popcorn, watching the, watching the show just like they are, you know. Yeah, so it's like um, we tunnel vision. Yeah. So we don't we don't see like. Um, that's why the windshield is always bigger than the rear view. Mm -hmm. Because when people stay looking at the rear view, they looking at their past and everything else. We looking straight forward. Straight forward. And that's why it's bigger. It's a bigger picture for us. Mm -hmm. right. And speaking of the bigger picture, it's clear you got it off the ground. So how did you guys come up with this collaboration with Urban Flix TV? Like, how did that happen? Yes, well, you know, it's. I feel like everything, everything in life is is planting a seed, and it's crazy, right? Because you know, I've worked with Urban Flix before on a show called Pump, um, that um, starred a couple of you know familiar faces, and then we circle back, and Urban Flix is the co-founder of Forest Bias, and Forest Bias is someone that I knew for years that ran that. And they were like, Sharice, what are you doing next after your last show? And I'm like, listen, I want to do a dating show. And then 
for him too, you know, he knew Rush and them and he was doing his show. It just, it just came full circle to where Urban Flix was like, you know what, Sharice, you know, Force Bias is taking a long time to do their reality show. What do you guys got going on? To where it just made sense to keep it at home base. Yeah, you basically know? they hit us and it was like, we know y'all the stars of the other show. So how so. about we just make, you know, do this? And we're like, well, we're not, we don't want to be a part of a show that a network is doing themselves. We want to create it our own and have complete creative control to where we, you know, you're not, no one's going to edit us to say, you know, th something that we didn't say. It's going to be exactly what it is, right. you know? So it went to being like, Basically exposing our whole entire life, our truth, er every <laughs> single aspect in yeah. you're going to get with this show. Like, yeah. it's not for the week. I might go to jail, but fuck it. <laughs> Yo, and I'll be bailing him out. <laughs> Wait, initially, where are you both from? I'm from Los Angeles. And I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. I can hear it. I can hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hear it a little bit. <laughs> but that being said, um... So I know that you're generally an actress and a recording artist as well. And I know that you're also a music executive slash artist and producer, right? So mm -hmm. kind of walking into this world of, so for one, you guys are already walking into the world of spotlight, but now it's this ultimate world of spotlight because you guys have been in TV, right? So right. that being said, how is it just generally being in a spotlight like that? You're in the spotlight. You both are in the spotlight for multiple things. So how do you handle that? Mm -hmm. Being in a public you know, we, I love it. You know, he's more of an introvert. He's not really a people's person like that, but I love it. For one, like, I'm the type, I'll take hundreds of photos, I'll do this. He'd be like, man, I want to take a photo. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like because we are that happy, that that happy medium, he's he's learning to... to no, see, with me, it's, it's not like that I just don't like the fake shit. You get what I'm saying? See, I take Holly, pictures. Hollywood is full of that, but you I, gotta you gotta I, smile and know that they really don't like you in the back of your head. Yeah, it so, just be like that. Yeah, so I, I smile and deal with the fans and stuff like that. But when it comes down to like other celebrities and stuff like that, it's like if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. If I don't, then it's fuck you. So it's like Okay. That's just me. Let's like keep this PG thirteen. <laughs> I'm just I'm just raw with it. So it's like uh -huh. people um, you know, like they get what they get. Like mm -hmm. you'll know if I don't like you because you stick your hand out, I just look at it. So that's just I'm the opposite. I'll take the hands. How you doing? Hey, this is the dynamic though, right? Betty in the beats. <laughs> So, exactly. It's really it's so crazy. That's why I was saying earlier, fire and ice, baddie and the beast. Like it makes sense. Like, you know, mm -hmm. they're just like beautiful star. Hi, what's up? And he's like in the corner to them type shit. Mm -hmm. Be like, don't get too close now. Yeah, it works though. It works though. It's a, it's a strong dynamic. It yeah. is, it is. And I feel like in this business, especially as a woman, you're not respected, you know. To where it's great to have someone by my side to where if they don't give me give us the respect, best believe he's gonna get it out of you. Have an extra way. voice. Yes, 100 percent mm -hmm. I agree with you on that 100 percent But that being mm -hmm. said, given that you guys are also in the music world, is there anything that we can like expect in the near future too? And maybe see yeah, the of course. Show? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, we yeah. have a, a dope feature. We're not gonna say the name just yet, that uh we we filmed during uh filming of the show. And you're gonna get to see us create it. He produced it, and we wrote it so, together. Yeah, it's, it's one of the biggest artists out now. Uh huh. Uh, so you guys will get to see that. So you get to see down in the episode. Yeah. So it's it's like real, and it's like raw. Like you know how people be like when they do songs and stuff. They only, um, like do the recording part, and then once the song is done, they acting like they actually just did everything right then and there. You got everything uh, from the beginning, from the starting, the production side, to visuals, to like every aspect that you would the get in the process. studio. Right. That's hard. I love that, though, because a lot, like I said, going back to me saying, like, I grew up on scripted reality TV. So yeah. a lot of people consume it and don't even really dig too deep. Like, damn, maybe that didn't happen like that. Because it's a whole Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like aside from music and reality TV, generally I'll say all of us in the creative space are entrepreneurs, right? So that being said, what other business ventures do you guys or business interests would you guys might have individually or together? 
Um, we we both like a lot of properties. Mm -hmm. So we like to um build um like our foundation on like buying properties. Yeah. He's real big in the Airbnb business. Yeah. But so our next our next goal is to purchase a a, a building that'll have a bunch oh, of units. Yeah, an apartment um apartment space where yeah. we could just turn every All apartment into Airbnbs. into Airbnbs, like just one space. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I'm all smiling over here. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah. So like, thank you. No, so, so how do you guys really, so say you met somebody, right? That's totally unaware to you, right? And given that you wear, you each wear so many hats, which is amazing. But if a stranger came up to you and they didn't know you just got in a conversation how would you package everything you do into one like pitch? Feel me? Um, that's easy. Shit, I I start speaking. You get what you get when you talk about loose candy. So it's no, like she just when, said one word, honey. Yeah, one word. greatness. Uh, I I label myself as an as an entertainer, um, because I feel like. I enjoy making people smile, making people cry with my voice. I enjoy influencing people with, with what I wear. I enjoy, you know, entertaining people when I'm on screen. So I, I, I just, one word for me is an entertainer. Okay, with me, I'm not a kid's role model. I don't want to be a kid's role model. I'm just the type of person that just don't give a fuck. If you, <laughs> you don't get it. I've been in the meetings with all the rich white folks and everything like that. They love me, but they just love me for who I am. Mm -hmm. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I don't, I won't change how I talk, how I speak, how oh. I dress. Okay, let's nothing. let's shut the mic now. Where's my phone at? <laughs> Unscripted, real life shit. Unscripted. Man. I'm cracking up. Okay, cool. So every Wednesday, people can expect to see Betty and the Beast. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. right so in between right like so this goes back to like the unscripted conversation you know when you watch reality tv and you see all the mess that people argue on the internet and stuff is this that like will it be that kind of unscripted dynamic as well you think oh yeah oh, oh yeah you're talking about ways, like arguing some fights and shit oh yeah you know how That's people get on the internet like you know and that'd be yeah it's yeah, no, you can get you can get that. We already got one of our castmates, I guess, cousin or not niece is arguing with my bodyguard because the bodyguard tased her cousin in the scene. She's like, "Oh, we got to get it." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> y'all." <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh. No, I'm ready for this. So that being said, can you guys tell us where we can keep up with you guys aside from Urban Flix TV, of course. Mm -hmm. definitely on our social media at Sharice Mills and at It's Loose Cannon mm -hmm. on all platforms yep. big Sharice, big loose, let's go and hey you guys tune in to Betty and the Beast every Wednesday on Urban Flix TV and make sure you tune into this interview via Hip Hop since 1987, thank you guys so much thank you for having us, bye <laughs>